Bonjour à tous et bienvenue au Paris Manga. Aujourd'hui, nous allons rencontrer les acteurs Steve Cardenas et Azimoisk. Ensuite, nous partirons à la rencontre de l'association Ranger Family qui a confectionné tous ces jolis cosplays tout autour de nous. Go, go, Mega Fox <rire> I was born in Tucson, Arizona, um, which is the middle of the desert. As a kid, I used to watch Power Rangers. I had um, my best friend, uh, Connor, actually. Him and I used to put our underwear on over our clothes, like a superhero, and then run around with capes, sword fighting each other. And, <laughs> um, and when I was about 17 or so, I decided I'm done with this. I love this place. I love my family. But Los Angeles is where the next step of my career is going to happen. So I need to move to Los Angeles. So I graduated a year early from high school, moved out to LA at 17, and immediately found an agent, got very, very lucky, and started working almost within the year. And uh, I haven't stopped since then. I've been very, very lucky. I read for Samurai. So in 2010, um, I auditioned for Power Rangers Samurai, and they liked me for it, but it just didn't work out. Uh, I had a couple other jobs in mind, and um, it was, you know, it's quite a, quite a big responsibility when you take on a job like Power Rangers. Um, it's different than other jobs, you know, uh, because what usually happens with television is um, you get hired for a pilot, And if the pilot gets picked up, the first episode, then you get to do the whole show, right? But you, there's no guarantee of that. With Power Rangers, there is. With Power Rangers, uh, you have maybe two seasons, guaranteed. So to say yes to that job is to say yes to a, a whole year of working. And um, when Samurai was around, it just didn't work out for me. However, when I read for Samurai, My roommate also read with me, and you know him. His name is Alex Hartman. He was he ended up being the Red Ranger in that season, and so he went off and shot in New Zealand. And then when he came back, I read for Megaforce, and then I left for, for New Zealand. It's Morphin time! I was a 20-year-old kid. I was teaching martial arts in Texas, and. Um, I heard about this audition for the Power Rangers on the on the radio. I knew about the Power Rangers because it had already been on for us one season, so I was familiar with the episodes, but um, I didn't know that they were going to be coming to my city to do an audition. So when I heard about it on the radio, I decided to go try out for it. And <clears throat> surprisingly, I got the part. So. And when I got to the audition, there were 4,000 people waiting to audition. So it was very surreal, you know, when I, when I got cast in the show, And then met, you know, like Walter Jones or Jason David Frank or Austin St. John, who I used to watch on the television. You know, what's interesting about Power Rangers is it tends to have a very similar theme, no matter which season it is or which episode it is. Um, and I think that that, that suits it, uh, because it is for a very young audience, right? Demographic tends to be, I think, somewhere between four and ten. Um, and in that demographic, there's not room for a lot of character development or a lot of uh, story arc because, you know, they're still figuring out a lot of other things. And, um, and so there's not room for a lot of things to change. What does continue, though, is their theme of positivity, of working together as a team, um, not assuming that you have to be perfect yourself. You can, you can work with other people and create something that's perfect. And I think that's super important. That's something that, that, uh, that really sticks with kids. And you can tell because everyone, you know, almost without exception, who's into uh, like Batman or Superman or Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, they all started with Power Rangers, you know, as kids. How can we defeat an army this size? Look over there. Ah! Yeah! They're all here. Hey guys, 
Tommy. You don't have to do it alone this time. We're here to fight by your side. It's Morphin Time! Go, go, Mega Force! <laughs> Legendary Ranger Mode, activate! Hello, old friend. Glad to be back. You still think you can stand against us? We'll never surrender. It is good to have you back, Orion. No place I'd rather be. Shields down! Brace for impact! Now that was legendary. Power Rangers Super Mega Force. One of them was Alex Hartman. Alex Hartman came in for uh, a samurai surprise. And um, so we got to work with him for a little while. He's very fun, obviously. And then who else was there? Jason Smith came in. Jason Smith was actually a writer on the show. Um, so he, he was the Red Ranger in Jungle Fury? And after that, came back and started writing for the show. He was writing for, I think, yeah, the first 22 episodes. Uh, but I'm sure who you mean is Jason David Frank. And Jason David Frank came in uh, for the final episode, the legendary battle. So him and Allison McInnes and Jason Fawn and Reggie Roll and Hector and everybody, all of them came in, uh, 11 actors, for three days. They were only there for three days of shooting for them. Um, but we all had a lot of fun on set. I remember one day, I went in, just like any other day, went to the, the trailer to shave my face for the first of seven times in the day, and I look over and there's Jason David Frank. Ces armées sont innombrables. Une seule force peut s'opposer à cette tyrannie. Je vous invite dans mon cauchemar. Avantage de puissance. Power Rangers, le film. Nous sommes les Power Rangers. Yeah, there was, well, there was about 30 different script changes, you know? I mean, there was, uh, you know, in the, in the first movie, in the first um, uh, round of the script, edition of the script, they had, they had us in the construction site fighting like big monsters, like uh, big rats, big rats, instead of the purple ooze guys, you know? And, um, when we when they looked at the footage of us fighting them, it looked like they looked too playful, you know, they looked too, you know, friendly, so we didn't wanna we didn't wanna make it look like we were beating up friendly plush animals. So they switched it to those purple ooze guys and stuff. And um, <clears throat> you know, lots of things like that. There was a different Dulcia on the in the movie than there was the one you actually saw in the theater, so they had to re, re reshoot a whole bunch of stuff. I did my own action. So there's action and there's stunts. Action is the fighting and stunts are the flipping. So uh, I did all my, all my own action that I could and the stuntmen did all of the stunts. And if you ever see a helmet on, that's usually the stuntman, almost always. Because we can't... When you come in the morning, right, you have to go through hair and makeup. And if you then put the helmet on, it messes everything up. You start sweating, and it gets everywhere. And then you got to redo it. So they don't like to do that, right? I had a great relationship with them. So they were led, uh, their team was led, their alpha stunts, as well as uh, some stuntmen from New Zealand, because we shot in New Zealand, so they had some local hires. Um, but they're called alpha stunts, and we were directed in second unit by uh, Yuji, Yuji-san, Masaki-san, and Kazu-san. And all three of them helped us immensely. And then I had two stunt doubles, whose names were Daisuke and Satoshi. And the two, all three of us would get together and come up with all these weird kinds of fights. And, you know, it gets to the point where you're having so much fun and everybody gets to know each other's body type so well and, and movement abilities that you're actually able to choreograph with each other so quickly <laughs> And, uh, and choreograph longer, more complicated fights. Um, so by the end of the second season, they were just throwing fights at me and I was loving it. It was fantastic. Majo Bandura, 
それを迎え撃つ伝説の戦士たちティラノレンジャーケキマンモスレンジャーゴーシュトリケラレンジャーダンタイガーレンジャーボーイツペラレンジャーメイ地球の平和を守る５人のスーパー戦士新番組「恐竜戦隊獣レンジャー」お楽しみに！それが海賊ってもんだろ宇宙最大のお宝探して地球セバシと暴れまくるそして伝説のスーパー戦隊に豪快チェンジ新番組「海賊戦隊豪快じゃ」2月13日日曜朝7時30分スタート派手に行くぜ I really liked the idea of Go Kaiju. I、um, that's probably that was probably my only disappointment was that I really enjoyed Go Kaiju to the point where I thought they could have done two seasons of just Go Go Kaiju, like of actual pirates,、um, because those kids are are villainous thieves who travel through the galaxy, you know, spreading mayhem and and destruction. Stealing the powers of other Power Rangers until they see Earth and decide, you know what? These guys really have it bad. We should help them out. And they come down and help them out, and they, use their, they, they, they find a way to shift, and it's such a great character arc. I think that'd be really fun if they'd made an Amer- American version of just that idea. Love to meet what's his name who played、uh, Green so that, so that I could ask him why he always did such funny gestures. <laughs> why do you do that? Yeah, why, why'd you feel the need to go, hmm? <laughs> 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 Black, I think, and maybe pink. We're all there, right?、Uh, from Japan, from, from the Japanese Mighty Morphin, which was, I can't remember. Zuranger. Zuranger, that's right. Oh my gosh, so respectful, all of them. Just, just so, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe them. It's, there's too many good words. They're fantastic people, and they, they didn't have to be. You know, I imagine that after 24 years of talking about Power Rangers, They're probably all, you know,、uh, <laughs> done with it, right? But they did not hesitate for a second when I came up. I told them that I was on the show now, and their eyes lit up and they went, Oh my goodness, I can't believe that you're carrying this forward, that you're continuing the legacy. Thank you so much. And I kept telling them, No, thank you. Without you, I wouldn't have a job. <laughs> Thanks for doing such a great job in Japan that they wanted to bring it over here, you know?、Um- Am I the only one who notices that my key is the wrong color? There's, There's a simple, a simple explanation, explanation for that. I'll have to leave you with that. <laughs> There's no explanation, no. I mean, you know why they actually did it, right? Because they had to change seasons. So, because they went from one season to the other, and there's a black ranger in this one and a green ranger in this one, I ha- someone has to change colors.、Uh, but they decided, I think, that it would be more fun to just let the fans make up their own music. I mean, I love interacting with my fans, you know what I mean? Because it's like, you know, they're the reason that, you know, I'm able to even do these conventions or I was able to be on the show or anything like that. You know, if it wasn't for my fans, you know, I wouldn't have anything. So、um, I feel like、uh, it's very important to give back to them. So when they come to visit, you know, I try to give them the best experience as possible when I meet them and, you know,、uh, make them feel like, you know, I'm the person that they remember from TV and stuff, you know? I guess, I guess one of,、um, one of like, mutual positivity, you know?、Um, I think most Power Rangers fans,、uh, the younger ones, you know, the oldest ones are 10 years old、uh, the, of the child generation, right? And they're just into it because it's a sweet superhero flick. 
right? And it's inspiring them and it's giving them ideas for the future. And the adult generation, I think, there's a, there's a whole lot of nostalgia involved, you know? And especially with my season, season 20. It's, it's an anniversary season. They tried to go back to the original. They tried to bring us back to our Mighty Morphin roots. And I think they succeeded. They brought the kids back to high school, right? And that's something that a lot of adults connect with. They watch it and they go, oh yeah, that's what it was like for me. And they can put it on for their kids and, and you know, enjoy it with their kids. And it's, it's um, you know, gives you a good feeling inside, I think. It's important. Welcome, White Ranger. The time has come to reveal your identity. Bonjour, je suis Christian Vichy, le président de la Ranger Family. Je suis maintenant avec Christian Vichy de l'association Ranger Family. Alors tout d'abord, petite question, est-ce que vous pouvez présenter vo votre association, ce que vous faites, euh, etc. Alors voilà, on est une association familiale, euh, d'où le nom Ranger Family. Euh, on fait beaucoup des expositions, euh, comme euh, vous pouvez voir sur l'arrière, avec beaucoup de costumes. On va dire que je suis à peu près le, le plus grand collectionneur de France euh, au niveau des costumes, avec 53 casques dont 30 costumes en entier. Euh, après, on fait quelques animations dans les, euh, dans les magasins, on fait des fêtes d'anniversaire. Euh, en projet, on, veut part... on va aller voir les enfants à l'hôpital. Euh, voilà, j'ai fait un, peu, un petit peu plus euh, le tour. Alors après, euh, avec les, les autres membres, comment est-ce que vous êtes rencontrés et qu'est-ce qui vous a donné l'envie de, de créer ces, cette association et de participer à tous ces événements comme j'ai expliqué avant, bah, les membres, on a tous un lien de parenté. Moi, un peu moins, parce que les autres, c'est vraiment des frères, des sœurs, des, euh, des, euh, les maris des, des personnes. Moi, c'est juste un lien de parenté au niveau de, la, de ma fille. Euh, un des, une des personnes est le parrain de ma fille. Autrement, euh, qu'est-ce qui a donné envie de monter cette association euh, Ils m'ont suivi au niveau de ce projet, euh, car j'étais fan. Le parrain de ma fille était fan à l'époque, quand elle était enfant. Et euh, après, j'aurais ai, mis un costume, ils ont tous aimé, et c'est pour ça qu'on a, on a voulu créer vraiment une association Ranger Sentai. Euh, sur, sur la page Facebook, on y voit bien, ça parle de Sentai, de, de Power Rangers, même de Carmen Rider, parce que dans le but euh, vraiment final, je voudrais avoir vraiment tous les styles. D'accord, donc justement, vous nous parlez de, de Sentai, donc vous, vous avez connu le, le Sentai en premier Non. J'ai connu les Power Rangers en premier. Euh, bah, comme tous les, euh, les gamins de mon âge, euh, voilà, je suis né en 85, j'ai 31 ans. Euh, à 9 ans, j'ai connu Power Rangers. 
Euh, je pense que tous ceux qui ont mon âge ont connu pareil pour Rangers, euh, Super Sun, euh, les Super Sentai. J'ai connu, euh, on va dire, euh, à la transition, Go Sager, euh, Go Kaiser, euh, dont Go Kaiser que j'ai euh, vraiment adoré, qui a été euh, le, le, mon quatrième costume. D'accord, ok. Euh, donc, euh, vous avez déjà fait pas mal d'événements, vous avez euh, rencontré euh, pas mal d'acteurs, dont, dont aujourd'hui euh, Steve Cardenas et Azim Risk. Vous avez notamment rencontré euh, Jason David Frank au London Comic Con, si je ne me trompe pas. Donc, est-ce que vous pouvez nous parler un peu de, de ces rencontres C'est toujours magnifique. C'est vrai que moi, qui ne suis pas bilingue, c'est très compliqué à me faire comprendre. Mais euh, on arrive toujours, à, avec des personnes comme ça, on arrive toujours, ils nous comprennent toujours un petit peu. Mais euh, que ce soit tous les acteurs, j'ai rencontré euh, euh, Catherine, le Ranger Rose. J'ai rencontré euh, Johnny... Euh, voilà, le Ranger Noir, j'ai vraiment rencontré toute la série Turbo, euh, que ce soit n'importe quel acteur, ils ont été vraiment formidables avec nous. Toujours courtois, aimable, euh, voilà. et qu'est-ce qu'ils ont pensé de, de votre collection Quand j'ai fait voir, ils étaient, on va dire, euh, quand j'ai fait voir les photos de, de ma série de casques, de 53 casques, ils ont été, euh, parlant un petit peu vulgaire, sur les fesses, sur le cul. <rire> très bien, très bien. Et euh, vous faites, euh, donc, euh, comme on l'a dit, vos, beaucoup de, de conventions. Euh, vous allez dans, 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 dans les hôpitaux et, et, et ce qui, vous, votre but euh, au final dans, dans tous ces événements, quels sont au final euh, votre objectif personnel, qu'est-ce qui vous motive bah, Dans tous ces éléments, euh, ces c'est vraiment euh, faire découvrir, euh, on va dire, la, ma passion, le, que ce soit le, le Sentai ou, le, ou les Rangers. Après, mon but final, c'est moi, là, actuellement, je fais des expositions parce que j'ai voilà, 10 à 12 mannequins, mais euh, j'aimerais bien, c'est faire, euh, si un jour je peux, faire un musée. Ça serait mon but. Serait mon but. D'accord, bah, on, on espère que vous pourrez euh, y arriver. Puis on vous souhaite bah, tout le meilleur possible pour, pour la suite. Merci bien. Et voilà qui est fini aujourd'hui pour cette petite émission au Paris Manga. J'espère que ça vous aura plu. Portez-vous bien et que le pouvoir vous protège. Thank you so much, man. That was fun.